Good morning. This is Margaret Fetty from the Taylor Fitton University of Sewing, and I want to welcome you to Facebook Live. So, I hear in Bloomington today is supposed to be 90 degrees and we're supposed to get rain. Perfect weather, huh? Well, as it's getting hot out there, it's hot in here, and we want you to know that we are having a wonderful summer sale going on until next Tuesday, the end of next Tuesday. And that sale, you can come in and look at what we have. We have Aladdin's lamp, and you can take and rub on this lamp and see what savings you can get. Okay, it's really silly, right? It's about as kitschy as you can get. So they found this at an auction and thought it would be perfect for Facebook Live. I can't disagree. So what we're doing right now is we have a bunch of sewing machines. They're on fabulous prices. They are amazing sales no matter what your budget is. For example, Right up here is our Burnett B35. It's only $250. If you have someone who's just learning to sew, if you have someone, I think about the kids who want to learn to sew right now. If you have a kid right now who is wanting to learn to sew, this machine is perfect for them. You'll be able to show them what to do with it. They can't hurt it, it's mechanical. You're gonna love this machine. It is just perfect. But don't forget, right over here is the Academy 05. And this Academy 05 is normally $469. We've got it for $299 right now. These prices are only through Tuesday. Uh, by the way, the Burnettes can be shipped. So if you live somewhere else and you're watching this and you can't get that machine somewhere locally, we can ship you a Burnett. Now that is not true with our Berninas. We can't do that for Bernina, but we can do it for our Burnettes. So those two machines are wonderful, perfect machines for your beginning sewer or somebody who's on a really limited budget. These are great deals right now. And we actually have a good number of them. So please go online, buy it. We're gonna have to do, if we're shipping it to you, we're gonna have to charge you that separately, but we can figure that all out. We've shipped a Burnett to uh, Puerto Rico before, so we can ship it to you. So I wanted to tell you as hot as it's gonna be today, don't forget, we have some wonderful popsicle fabric, so if that'll make you feel cooler. Um, think about this for a great apron or one of your kids' projects. If you're helping one of your uh, uh, grandchildren or maybe a niece or a nephew or even your own child, Look at this fabric and wouldn't it be fun to do a project with them? Think about like a little pair of uh, pajama pants or something like that. We just got a couple of really cute books in and those books are for kids. And so get online, go to our kids section. You'll see lots of cute stuff for them. We have a number of different sewing books for them. And so if you can't join us for one of our classes that Denise is doing, and by the way, we are gonna have that, our July and August dates for kids classes. Those will be up at the beginning of July. So keep an eye out for those. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. We have a giveaway today. So peacocks are quite the thing this year. And we have this very cute, silly pattern with a peacock on it. And we're giving this away today. All you have to do is share this pat or share our Facebook live video with your friends and this will go to some lucky winner last Saturday Pat Miller was our lucky winner are you gonna be a winner today all you have to do is share it and you know even if you watch this later you can still share it with people that you know and I mean we all have sewing friends so we really want them to know about the University of Sewing so please consider sharing our videos with them. We'd really appreciate it. So let's continue talking about the summer sale. Oh, by the way, stay tuned today because if you've never seen how the Bernina Ruffler works, I'm gonna demonstrate that for you here in just a couple minutes. Um, Dave, go and t show people the uh, new Tula Pink demo machine that we just got in. That's right over here by you. And I wanna make sure that I get that in before we get off of this, all the things Bernina. 
Tool Pink, the 570, is back in stock at our shop. We have one. So if you are looking to purchase one of these 570s, now it doesn't come with the scissor set that originally the Tulip Pink had, but it does have the embroidery unit and it does have the embroidery stick with it. And we are looking to sell this. And so I've got a special price online if you want to go and look at that. It's really a good price. So right beside it, look at, we have this gorgeous 790. The 790 comes with an embroidery unit. It has pinpoint placement. It has your, uh, the uh, ability to sew in 360 degrees. That is one of the coolest things ever. Um, I just was shocked when I saw that we could do this. And so what you can do on this, now look at the screen right there. See how the stitching goes in this other side. Who would have imagined you could sew in 360 degrees, but Bernina lets you do that. And so what you can do is you can even put a decorative stitch on here and you can have it stitch in these 360 degrees. So look at that, see how it's going off there? Who would have thought that that's even possible? I love this machine, it's really fun. It's got the jumbo bobbin, it comes with your embroidery unit, it has everything. And you know what? It's $700 off during the summer sale as all of our seven series are. And check out this wonderful spool holder we've got attached on there. You know, you come in and you wanna buy one of these today or through the 22nd, I think I can go ahead and throw this spool holder in there and that deal for you too. That would be really fun, wouldn't it? The other thing that happens when you buy a machine from us, don't forget, we offer lessons you get your first servicing, first year servicing for free, and we want you to be really happy. So if you ever have a problem with your machine, all you have to do is call us. We're really easy to have. We want you to be happy. We want to help you with your machine. So let's talk about 740s. We have two 740s on the floor here right now because this one's a demo unit. And you know what? On this demo unit, there's only 14,000 800 stitches. That's basically a brand new machine. That many stitches could happen in a stitch out to make sure it is working well. So there is a very special price for this 740. But if you prefer a new machine, oh, by the way, any demo unit that we offer, they come with a full warranty. I promise you they come with a full warranty. There's the 740, it's brand new, $700 off of it. Typical price on this is $6,000, you're gonna get $700 off. We have also a bunch of four series in here. And even though Bernina's not offering a sale on that, we are. We're also offering deals on our cabinets, we're offering deals on, um, you know, just any of this stuff that you, if you're gonna come in and buy, remember, Oh, you may not know this, but if you come in and buy your sewing machine from us, the day you buy your sewing machine, we'll give you 20% off on anything you wanna buy in the shop. So, good time to buy your cabinet, good time to buy maybe some accessory items. You may not know it, but one of the things that we have, we have some really cool accessory pieces that we carry, and we try to keep this kind of stuff available for you all the time. This is a really nice little case that you can have to put your feet in, and if you're going to a workshop, perfect case to do that with. The other thing we have here, if you like our little, bar, these are, we call these Barbie cases. And if you like your little Barbie box here, we have an extra one here that we can sell to you, so that's really nice. And then, let me see, okay. And I wanna to forget to tell you because now, just in a minute, we're gonna go and look at that ruffler. So $700 off any seven series, $500 off any five series. These are new machines that we're talking about. $800 off of the eight series. So let's go back in the other room. Dave, come with me. And let's go see how, you know, if you've never watched the ruffler in action, this is gonna be really fun because the rough, we're gonna say hi to Denise. Hi Denise. <laughs> Look at her, Good look morning. how pretty she looks. She made her jacket. She did it all on her serger it looks like. It was. 
just it's, about all in the surgery. I, I attempted a little baby wool hem on the bottom. Oh, so nice. Okay. You're, you're pulling me into that garment world. Oh, uh, I told you it's a lot easier no, than you I think. Know. You're right. Not everything has to be super fitted. And if you're wearing something that's a little bit looser, making clothes is simple. So, 770, we only have one in the shop. If you're gonna get this 770 and get the $700 off, you've got till Tuesday at the end of the day. Um, so, let's go over here. And if you haven't seen it, this is my wedding dress that I made. We've got it still in the shop one more week and then I'm taking it home. So make sure you come in and see it if you wanna see it. Okay. So we're going to show you how to sew with the ruffler foot, and this is on my 880, and by the way, you get $800 off if you want to order an 880 today. So right now, I'm going to have Dave show them. This is the box that it comes in. This is the foot we have our um, accessory of the month. This is 25% off right now. This ruffler is it looks like a foreign kind of I mean it just looks so strange and if you have never seen this before I'm going to take it off real quick so you can see it so what you've got is this really kind of strange looking thing and right down here there is a zero a 12 a six and a one and what that is referring to and I think we can get a picture of this, Dave, here. If you want to do a one, it's going to be a lot more pleats, little ruffles. And then if you do a six, it's going to be less. And the 12 is very intermittent. And then zero doesn't do any. So how do we go ahead and put this on the machine? Because it looks really strange. Oh, and in the box, it comes with an extra spring. And it comes with a screwdriver. And hopefully you won't need to use those very often, but the spring actually is right here. But it's just a little wire. And so if you use this a ton, you might need eventually to get that little wire replaced. So we're going to put it on six so you can see what happens. And the way that this goes on, here's the part that actually fits into your cone. And then this fits over your needle holder where the screws at right here so all we have to do is just align this see right at this one over top of where the screws at it's not hard to put in my hands are in the way let's see if we can do it that way there we go I think that's a little bit better so I put this u-shaped part over the where the needle screw is and then I line up my uh, little part that goes in the cone and then because I'm trying to do this in a way that I don't normally do it there we go I think that's going to work a little bit better there we go all I did was turn my little um, hook in oh tip 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 that's really important notice I have a long needle thread when you put this uh ruffler on your machine and if you have an 880 you it automatically when you tell it that you put the number 86 foot on the machine it disables your needle threader the reason it disables your needle threader is because all this stuff right here would break it so all this um if you can get down here for a second dave and show them all this stuff right here if you had that needle threader coming through here, it would break it. So it disables the needle threader. Now, if you have a if you have a 330 or if you have a 335, you can still use this ruffler. It works perfectly. Um, it's a little bit harder to get it on because the whole area is a little more snug in here. But even if you have a four, if you have a four series, if you have a, a five series, a seven series. This will work on any of those machines. But what you wanna do is you wanna first make sure that your needle is threaded and you've created a long thread that you can hold on to. Then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna turn your hand wheel. And Dave, if you, I know you're on the wrong side of me, honey. Can you come over here? Cause I wanna show people um, what I'm talking about when I'm saying that they really want to hand turn the wheel on this. 
and make sure that nothing is impeding their needle. And so we're talking right down here. So see, you want your needle to go in there and we wanna make sure that this is lined up in such a way that what happens is that the needle goes down and there's nothing in the way of the needle. So that's the very first thing you're gonna try is after you've got this on here, very slowly with your hand, turn your hand wheel and make sure that nothing is impeding your needle because you don't wanna break your needle and you don't wanna damage your ruffler. So make sure you try that. Now we've just tried it and it's gonna work fine. Now, how do you set up your fabric to use this particular tool, which is, it is a tool, it's a foot, but it's also a tool. So what I did, is on, I took a strip of fabric that I'm gonna ruffle. And by the way, what we're gonna end up with is something that looks like this. So, which is really cool, cause this is a six setting and this is really nice how this ruffles right here. It has these wonderful little pleats. So I used to work on Broadway and one of the very first things I got to do was to actually sew material for ruffles. And so what you do is you finish the edge. Now, oh, normally I would not use black, but I wanted to make sure you could really see it. So don't, don't think I'm silly. Of course, I would normally try to match this pretty green or maybe even white. And you wanna serge the edge and then you turn it under and then you can top stitch this to finish your hem, if that's the hem part of it. Now, I don't know how you're doing your ruffling, but this is, I'm thinking a little ruffle on the edge of a dress or on the end of an apron or something like that. So the other side, what I've done is it's also got your serger stitching to give it a finished edge. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead, make sure none of our threads are tangled right there. And right here, in between here and here, and I hope that that's clear for you guys. See, you've got this piece of metal and then there's another piece of metal. Right in between there, you can slide your fabric in here. And what's really cool is the edge of the ruffler has an end right here. So this will help you guide things through and keep it even. So what we're gonna do, and notice I didn't finish this edge and I'm not gonna have finished the other edge. Um, if this is gonna be a circle, what I'd recommend that you do is you start off your ruffling with it being completely flat. It'll be a lot easier. And there's not a way to do a back stitching on this. So where you start and where you end, you might want that to be in seam allowance so that you can have this work. So I just put my foot down and now what I'm gonna do, and by the way, we don't have to go super fast with this because I want you to see what's happening. Uh, it, I should have got that in there a little bit more, obviously. Let's pull that up a little bit more. There we go. So now what we've got happening is it is ruffling for us. And by the way, do not hang on to this fabric like it's the um, you're holding on for dear life it needs to be able to move let the fabric and the ruffler do its job I'm just guiding it I have almost nothing I have no pressure on this whatsoever all I am doing is just guiding it into this ruffler and this is so cool what happens when you get done and this is on the number six setting which I actually think is a nice setting Okay, so we are done. We've got that out of there. We're gonna put our needle up. We're gonna bring our foot up. We're gonna pull our thread out. And by the way, I'm just gonna leave tails. I know I could have used my cutter, but in this situation, well, look at that. Look how pretty that is. This can go in my seam. And then what I can do is if I'm making a circle, I can just take these two ends. This is the beginning, so I hadn't trimmed those threads yet. So I trim those threads and get them out of my way. So now what I can do is I can go back over to my serger and I can trim and finish this edge off. Then I end up with a circle that's all serged off if I want to. Or what I might do 
is even search this edge and finish it if it's for the end of something. But you want to make sure that you do something because we couldn't back stitch right here and here. You might even want to go back with your straight stitch and put a little knot or you can take those threads that we had and you can just knot them off like that too. So, but see, I left those raw edges so I could just turn that under and I could stitch that if I wanted and that would secure my stitching too. But isn't that gorgeous? And I want you to see that big long strip that I just had, that was originally 45 inches minus this probably eight inch piece I cut off. So that was probably in the neighborhood of 37 inches of fabric and it ended up being this small when I'm done with it. I'm gonna try to each Friday include either how you use one of the Bernina feet or some other technique that you can see how these tools will make your life easier and you'll have so much fun with them. Um, but this ruffler is just honestly so much fun to use. What I would do if I got this ruffler is I would go ahead and I would try the number 12. I would try the number, um, there's a 0, 12, a 6, and a 1. And I would try all of those because then you can have a little sample of what they look like. And then when you have a project, you know, sometimes we get projects and they call for gathering. There's a lot of times I use the ruffler instead because it's just so easy to use. And I mean, when I'm done with this, all I have to do is take and pull up on my little hook. It comes right off and I'm ready to put back on my other foot. And all I need to do is tell my machine that that's what I'm getting ready to do. And it's happy <laughs> and we have everything all set up and ready to go. So it doesn't get much easier than that. Um, we only have a few of the rufflers left, but if you want one and we run out of stock, don't worry, we'll be happy to order one for you. They're 25% off for the month of June. So don't forget, this can work for a lot of things and be look really beautiful for you. Okay, everybody, it's supposed to be really warm today. Come in and join us because we're going to have the air conditioning on and we will not be hot. <laughs> so everybody have a great day. It's Friday. Tomorrow we'll see you at Facebook Live at 930.